In Exodus chapter 15, the Israelites are praising God for delivering them from the hand of Pharaoh and the Egyptian army. Here's what we read in Exodus chapter 15, verses 1 and 2. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord, and spoke, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. There are three observations we'll be highlighting. Observation number one, they're singing. I will sing to the Lord. Each believer in Christ can sing the same basic song. We too can sing to the Lord. We can praise him for who he is and for all he's done. Observation number two, they're remembering. For he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider, he is thrown into the sea. They're remembering the deliverance of the Lord. Similarly, we as believers in Christ could remember that he has triumphed gloriously in our lives. Satan was defeated on the cross. The penalty of sin has been paid. The power of sin has been broken. And Satan will eventually be thrown into the lake of fire. And then observation number three, they're personally responding. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my song. He has become my salvation. He is my God. I will praise him. I will exalt him. Similarly, we as believers in Christ can personally respond to the Lord. The Lord is my strength. He gives us power. The Lord is my song. He gives us joy. The Lord has become my salvation. His salvation has become my experience. He is my God. We can now know God personally. I will praise him and exalt him. We can continually praise the Lord. So we as believers can each walk with a song in our heart as we remember who the Lord is and what he's done and as we personally respond to his work in our lives. Thanks for listening.